Before we begin, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the wonderful opportunity to meditate upon your words, Master. As we learn your verses, let us know what exactly your will is and guide us into life, Master. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. This week's lesson study is based upon one of our daily activities. Give a guess, there are lots of daily activities that we do, breathing, water, walking, talking, of course. In that, then let's speak about the effects of talking alone in this video. Bible gives us a few verses as guidelines to let us know how to speak. Let's start with one of the one of our story, which is about two ladies in a village who are neighbors, that is Prema and Rudra. As they are women, they speak a lot, normally itself. And Prema is very careful about her words and speaks only good things. And she gained lots of friends with that. She guides her friends also when they need her help. Rudra is opposite of that. She gossips about unnecessary stuff and all. Examine yourself here. Are you Prema or Rudra? How you speak? Are you concentrating on good things or on gossips? Are you speaking which gives peace to others' mind or conflict? Each word you speak directly to a person, especially about them, can have a direct impact on their self-esteem itself. Are you encouraging their good qualities? Are you naturally prone to negativity mode when they face troubles and all? When you, when people face troubles, normally it's just they're prone to negativity. So change that in a way that so that they can get positive mode so that you speak good things so that negative things will go. Are you passing this negative things to others whenever they come to you or something like that? Don't speak negatively by your own words. Conversation mainly affects children more at the any age itself. So grow them with confidence that especially from your words and especially give them good criticism, constructive criticism, not destructive criticism. So let us read this verse, verse Proverbs 21, 23. <coughs> so this talks about how exactly we speak changes lots of things. Like the Proverbs 21, 23 says, Whoso keepeth his mouth and his tongue, keepeth his soul from troubles. So, if you speak good things, your soul will be cherished. Even if you're in a worse situation, you can speak a good things. By most of the situation may be worse, but most of the time, all this matters is how we react to it. We can always handle anything in this world because it's just a temporary place. We can handle it. Your soul will grow when you feed with good words. Very, very good words. And remember to protect your soul always, that is through your mouth also. So when you protect other souls, that will also come back to you. So do it. Let's pray as David prayed in Psalm 141.3. Set a God, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep a watch over the door of my lips. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Just look into it. God have to guard your mouth. That much sin can come out of it. So, you have to make sure that you won't do any sins against God in this. Let's move closer to God in this and let us guard our mouth in this. And before we go into the next verse, let's think about this story. What happened to Lalita, one of the women who was a Prema's as well as Rudra's friend. She lost one of her son recently. So, what happened in her she, she was in a condition that she almost lost all her hope. At the time, these two ladies went over there and spoke something to her. So, when Rudra was speaking to her, she was continuously giving negativity to her. Like, how come such an unlucky thing has happened to you? That kind of words she spoke. But the same time, the same girl known as uh, Prema, pacified Lalita and told him what it all, don't worry Lalita, everything will be alright. So, in this thing has really explains our next verse. 
so death in life or in the power of our tongue so this is from proverbs 18:21 so one words can bring life from the lost hope also one words can make the other person almost dead half dead fully dead also possibly so all this can start from your own tongue are you speaking in a good thing good way to others it's very very important so whether your words give light whether your words bloom others hearts it's what important let's go to the next verse proverbs 12 18 which tells about that this that speaketh like a piercing of sword but the tongue of the wise is held so it's held just remember if you speak wisely the thing is your words can heal others your words can transform others your words can open others darkness into light your words can become light for the one who needs it so when you actually open yourself for others in a way that it can become a medicine if it's in a good way so if you speak in a way that it pierces other people's hearts what's the benefit out of it nothing so let's move on to the next thing recently i faced a situation in which i lost something i used for years for in other friends not only that i put lots of energy for my wrong friends actually then suddenly god opened my eyes i saw everything and i understood i felt like i couldn't be able to forgive this master and after some point of time days passed maybe then i forgave i forgave because of two reasons because i wanted a piece of money and also there is something known as i am also a sinner some point of time so i have to forgive even if they did something worse to us to me so i forgave it. so if you are children of god we have to forgive one another as colossians 3 3 12 13 says not only forgiveness we have to endure long suffering long suffering will come for christians especially for the chosen ones like anything so practice everything practice to endure it and practice humility works see kindness and try to be holy maximum and Let's see our last verses, Proverbs 16, 19 to 24. Says a lot about benefits of speaking wisely and correctly. There are benefits a lot. The 24th verse exactly tells the pleasant words are as a honey comb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Are you speaking pleasantly to others? It's gonna be the honey comb. Are you <laughs> indirectly or giving <laughs> the honey to others? and sweet to their soul and help to their bones keep speaking pleasantly they will cherish you in their lives also and also the thing is how to speak wisely can be got to uh, thought by god only so god teaches you those things and spend more time with god in order to know how to speak wisely how to move closer to god so that you can become wise also Let's finish this prayer. Uh, the finish this by prayer, like especially with prayer. And dear Heavenly Father, as we learn today, let us focus on living right by speaking right, Master. Speaking right is the wonderful thing that you can teach us, Master. So let us learn, Master. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hope you all are blessed by this. See you next week.